Good morning. <laughs> My name is Sheila. From She's a Sassy Lady, and I'm so excited to be with you this morning because I started my Copic class. So I thought I'd share something with you, a shortcut or an organizational tip, whatever you want to call it, just to get your Copics all set up. You know, I started the class and I had, to, um, I bought all my Copics, uh, not all of them, but a lot of them in like packages from Hobby Lobby. And I used the 40 and the 50% off coupon to save a ton of money. Well, that's wonderful, but when I put my Copics together, I put them in those little packets and I bought these. Look at these cases. Aren't they awesome? I bought these cases and now I have four of them. And uh, matter of fact, on, on the... Um, on the copy that you'll be reading. I only had three, but I went out and got another one so that I could separate them by color family. And the reason why I decided to do that is in the class, one of the first things that we had to do was download a chart, and this is my chart. And I made one available to you. Uh, it's black and white, and you color in your own Copics. All you have to do is click the button where it says click here for the Copic um, chart and then color it in. But we had to color it in. And it was really cool because we colored it in, oh, I don't know, one day last week, and I realized that I, and, and one of the things that you learn in the class is to buy in trios so that you have proper shading. And I realized that I didn't have enough trios. When I bought the little packets from Hobby Lobby, they're wonderful because you get a large selection because I think they have six or seven different ones of those packets. Um, and so you get a large selection of them, but unfortunately the colors didn't come together and coordinate uh, to produce a good, um, I don't know how they put it, but a, a good blending option to me. So what I did, once I colored my chart in, is I went in and I thought, okay, I'm missing here, and I took little groups and I put them in order, like the center one or whatever, so that I would have a trio of colors, and I got on iCopic.com and ordered them. I think Blitzy had them. I, a lot of places have them. I kind of like the iCopic because in two days, I actually had my markers. So I went to Hobby Lobby, and I got another case, and that's why now I have four of them, and the cases, uh, one of them was $7.99, and it has some stitching on it that says prestige or some silly thing, and I'm, I'm groping to find out, and it, of course it's the last one, and yes, it says prestige on it. Well, that one was $7.99. Well, then they also have these others that are identical, the same thing, and they were $4.99. So I got the other three are $4.99, and then I used my coupon. Now, it sounds funny, I keep saying, use your coupon, use your coupon, and they only let you use one a day. Well, on my way to work, I passed two Hobby Lobbies, so on one trip, I can get two separate things on my way to work. So that's how I do it. At any rate, I did want to share this with you. Uh, this is the Copic chart. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. And I'm, I'm really excited. I got my little bag and I, I put all my Copics in my bag. And then I'm going to do something that I didn't think I would do. I'm going to share my first image. We all have first images and this is mine. And I'm sharing because I want you to see how far that I'm going to grow on this class. And I'm really, really confident that I will. And so that's why I'm sharing it with you. But I did this little puppy, and I don't know whether you can see it. I suppose I can get up. I'll get up, make sure that there's a close-up of it. But, of course, I haven't learned how to blend. I haven't learned how to do all the different things that you have to do. And that's what I'm excited about because I actually have no bad habits because I have no habits. I, I, I did do last week, as you know, and it was on my, my website. I colored in five or six little hearts that were about the size of a half of a dime. So, and I used one color and that was the, the, the most that I've ever done with my Copics until my first image. So anyway, um, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to have to get off now because my class is about to start and I want to be ready. And I, and you know what, this I, I shouldn't say that because it's an online class, but I like to be do it one of the first things in the morning so that I'm fresh and I, I have the rest of the day to play around with what I learned. But I hope this helps you out. But notice how I have it all in color families. 
um, and that's according to the chart. I went by the chart. I set everything. All my earth tones are together in this one. See how I have this? All the earth tones all line up, and they're in family order. And um, so I have that done. And then my yellows are with it, and they're all together. And they were pretty much complete for what I'm going to get for now. I, I found that I need to fill out in my pinks and my blues. Here's my green and blues. And um, here's my, my violets and reds and pinks. And I can add, probably I need to add about five or six more markers there. And I can't believe how many grays there are. And I do want to pick up, I think, one or two more grays. I do have five five grays now so I want to pick up a couple more because I've learned that there's different shades I'm not just shades of gray but tones of gray like there's a warm gray a cool gray all these things I'm learning it just amazes me anyway it's a big investment but I think it's well worth it because it's something that you can use for years and years and if you're paper crafting I mean it's a nice way to go at any rate, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I know the class is closed for this time, but maybe that's something you should look into for next time. And I do have um, um, Melissa and Christy's button right on my blog. So all you have to do is click on it, and they'll put you on a waiting list for the next class if you're interested. And have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye now.